thinks that they can grab land because it is at the lands summit held at state house nairobi where the ministry promised to digitize its operations before the end of the year this digitization of 18 land registries by june 2017 this means that Kenyans will be able to access the registry and conduct land search at their own convenience, as opposed to the current situation of flipping through a bulky and sometimes dusty paperwork. But even with the promise, the sticking issue at the summit was delayed justice on land matters. The role of court orders and the role of courts in maintaining and sustaining impunity needs to be addressed as well. So we just wish the courts could leave, would leave us alone to do our work. We know what needs to be done. Kaimeni at the same time called on Kenyans to explore conflict resolution mechanisms as opposed to seeking legal redress in each land tussle. Kwa sababu, in some instances, people have been caught for 5 to 75 years to the extent that they die and the only people now have to claim their rights later and their great, great grandchildren. At the summit, Nairobi Governor Ivan Skidero also accused the Department of Defense for forcefully occupying a 300-acre piece of land belonging to Nairobi County in Embakasi. And nobody dare, uh, dare challenge them because they've got guns and tanks. So anybody who thinks that they can grab land because they are in powerful institution with guns, with aeroplanes and so on, those ones are not covered under the law. Government can compulsorily acquire land for health purposes, for security, for all manner of reasons, and good reasons for that matter. The government also pledged to issue 3 million land titles by the end of 2017 at a cost of 4.5 billion shillings. Even as the search for answers into the land question continue to lead seekers into more questions, it is imperative that the authorities do some more head-scratching to find a lasting solution once and for all. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV, State House, Nairobi.